If you were to look at the data sheet of an antenna, you might see something called the VSWR, and the VSWR is this over this range of frequencies, or you might see the return loss as well. And each of those is a way of measuring uh, the performance of the antenna, or basically how much power it's able to radiate, and how much doesn't get radiated, or rather collected. So here's an antenna. This is the antenna here, and there's a piece of cable along here. So it, imagine you feed power into the cable, which the, some of that power will get radiated out, and some of that power will come back again. The relationship between how much goes uh, in to the antenna and how much gets reflected will give you some insights into how much is actually get radiated, because if it's not being reflected, then most of that will be radiated out, and that's what you want. So the ratio of reflected to input power is very important. We can measure that uh, using return loss, which is really just the dB ratio of this, of the, the reflected to the input power. So that's return loss. You can measure that with a network analyzer. And then you'll also see things called return loss, or VSWR, voltage standing wave ratio, which is measured with a VSWR meter, or also a network analyzer. And it's another way of expressing this same ratio, reflected to input power. So how do they relate to one another? Well, they, both the return loss and the VSWR are different ways of describing that, that relation. And imagine, okay, you have a return loss of 10 dB. Return loss of 10 dB, what does that mean? That means power reflected is 10 dB less than the input power. All right, so that means uh, power reflected equals power in minus 10 dB, which is equal to power in divided by 10. That means the, the ratio of reflected to forward power, the linear ratio there, would be 1 over 10. Okay, so if the return loss is 10 dB, that means the reflected signal is 10 dB less, that means the reflected signal is 1 tenth. So the ratio of reflected to forward power is 1 over 10. Okay, so PR over PF, 1 tenth. Now, if we were to do that and apply that, the PR over PF is 1 over 10 or 0.1, we apply that to the VSWR formula, we'll get something like 2 to 1. So return loss of 10 dB corresponds to a VSWR of 2 to 1. All right. Now, if the return loss is 14 dB, then the VSWR works out to 1.5 to 1. So I'm feeling lazy, so you can calculate. You can calculate this one. And what you should find is you should find that the VSWR is 1.5 to 1. So if we measure return loss for an antenna, you might get a result something like this. And you'll see that the return loss, the scale here, you'll see 10 dB return loss is this line. And there's marker 1 and marker 2. So on this side, marker 1 is, is 10 dB return loss. And on this side, marker 2 is 10 dB return loss. That means in between this frequency and this one, you have a VSWR of... Uh, 2 to 1 or better, or you have a return loss of 10 dB or better. And if you look where 14 dB return loss is, that would be your VSWR 1.5 to 1 in between these two. So a 10 dB return loss corresponds to a 2 to 1 VSWR, and a 14 dB return loss corresponds to a 1.5 to 1 VSWR. And we proved that a little while back there. So if you want to look here, in between markers 1 and 2, that's your 2 to 1 VSWR bandwidth. In between these two frequencies, that's what it is. VSWR is going to be 2 to 1 or better. And in between these markers, that's going to be your 1.5 to 1. In between this frequency and this frequency. So that is how return loss is related to VSWR.